what was your first reaction when somebody approached you and said, do you want to be Uncle Fester? Um, they, had, they were putting together a reading uh, with Nathan and Bibi, and I thought, I was very honored uh, to be in that group of people. I said, well, this would be a really perfect match for me. And I was trying to find the right play to bring me back from Los Angeles, where I've been living for a while, and um, this seemed to be it. Let's not talk about anything weird. Craving change of Shaving my beard. Let's not talk about anything else but love. But love. Jackie Coogan was uh, a big idol of mine. He played and Uncle Fester. He played Uncle Fester in the television show. And I loved the New Yorker cartoons originally. Charles Adams' own POV was through uh, Uncle Fester in the drawings. He saw himself as. So that's why they made him the narrator. So I went to the television show and, and listened to his voice. I loved the way he would he'd crack his voice like that a lot. And I thought, I could really bring my own stuff to this role. Pay homage to it, but also make it my own. Which is the trick to recreating a, 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 such an iconic character. Now it seems like it's um, a technically complex show. Is it more challenging than some of the other musicals you've done? Well, you know, ironically, this is the first musical I've done that hasn't broken down. <laughs> we have never stopped. So it was very well designed and we have an amazing crew. Uh, yeah, we've never ground to a halt. Everyone thinks that my big moon flying sequence is so complicated, and it's the lowest tech thing you've ever seen. There are no wires, there are no hydraulics. It's all puppetry, and it's all the, the amazing Basil Twist, and Julian Crouch and Phelan McDermott. They designed an amazing, amazing number for me. It's a joy to do every night. <laughs> Let's not talk about anything else but love. Mochibana! Shall we talk 